Boy, if I find out it's got a 289 and a 3 on the tree, I'm going to fall off his stool. Let's make fun of there. Perfection, beauty, the glorious duality of form and function meeting on a level playing field for the first time ever. Next. Well, here's another one right here. I can't take this truck down. I just want to hop in the passenger seat with a case of Lone Star and holler motivational shit like, Hell yeah, brother, while we go climb hills in Fort Davis or something. What do you even want me to say about that? That you built the ultimate slammed work truck? This thing's freaking amazing. From the details of that patina all the way down to that low mean look. I mean, I don't know about them weird ass pointy lug nuts and them slim tires because them things get lots of flats around my house. This guy sends me the Mona Lisa and asks me to slap the hell out of her. Look at that daggum thing. It's a freaking time machine to when life wasn't no more complicated than a three dog night song and fishing for brim with corn and loving a good dog. One thing I can say about this truck is I wish I had it and you had a feather up your butt because we'd both be ticked. Thousand dollars a month in payments, you're paying somebody's mortgage and if you can afford to pay that much, chances are you ain't got to carry a toolbox to work, and I guarantee you everybody in the parking lot at your accounting firm hates you. Next, every time I see one of these, there's about three things that pop up in my head. One, is that my new drywall guy? Two, does it have insurance? Three, he's probably a pretty good feller, but I hope he's fixed that leaking back window. That's where you want me to sit. My grandson asked me to get on here and talk to y'all about these trucks. Mm -hmm. What is that? That's where I look over there. A Toyota. I could have sworn we won that war. I don't understand how we end up driving their trucks for 20 years afterwards. <laughs> I'm just joshing. I, was, uh, I bought one of them for my wife, boy. Pretty good old truck, boy. Get up and down the road pretty good. I ain't burned a drop of oil in 20 years. Oh, yeah. I got to get out of here. It's burning daylight. I can't waste all day with this foolishness. <laughs> Did you put that in there? <laughs> Next, if I know anything, person drives this truck like hauling hay, Merle Haggard songs, and smoking a little grass out behind the feed store. I never bet the fella driving this does one more Jimmy Buffett song on his guitar than I want to hear, and his whole identity centered around four years he spent after high school at some state university. You know, this used to just be like working class dude. You know, now that they've all been resold and stuff, it's become a cult, and the people that love these tacos are like, if you can imagine if Jeep people were less annoying, it's almost like a vegan or a marine. Within two seconds of meeting them, you're going to know they own this truck. Oh, my goodness. Why do y'all keep sending me new trucks? Look at this parking lot, Princess. This truck's got to be sold about three more times before it develops any personality. I guarantee you this, it ain't never had a drop of dirt in that bed. The only thing that bed's had in it is a vintage dresser that his wife is going to cackle paint and try to sell on Etsy. Or a pallet of toilet paper from the Sam's Club.